Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to another PlayStation 4 review and today's review is for Spaceland, the low budget title that has just been released on the PlayStation Store this week. It is released at $15.99 and it is like a turn based strategy game, very similar along the same lines as the XCOM games. Now I'm a big fan of these types of games um, and it seems like every week there's a new pretender to the throne if you like that are copying XCOM gameplay some of them do okay with it some of them not um, and this is a very very basic um, attempt at a turn based strategy game but it doesn't pretend to be anything but that really it's um, as you can see from the from the gameplay you're looking at it's got very very cartoony graphics there's nothing um, special about the graphics at all it's very very basic it does its job um, you know exactly what you're doing on each of the levels um, and the gameplay will feel very very familiar to fans of these type of games essentially you move your characters around the board um, you can fire your weapons you can use one of your skills all that type of stuff um, and position them um, to try and outflank enemies all that kind of stuff um, and essentially the the gameplay story here again is nothing special you kind of crash land on this planet and uh, you're uh, then stuck there and you've got to explore this colony if you like to um, to find out what has been going on kind of along the same lines as the film Aliens but with very um, child friendly graphics and dialogue here um, the, and that is exactly what you're getting here, you're getting dialogue only, there is no voice acting to speak of here in this game at all, it's just voice, it's just um, text to move the story along but the story is nothing special, it's just it just ties you to each level and the, the gameplay loop is quite repetitive here um, you'll get the breaks in between levels where you get these conversations in text you get the opportunity if you've got enough um, if you've collected enough tokens from the last level you can uh, upgrade your characters you can go to the workshop and uh, craft new weapons that you've uh, discovered and found um, but it's done at a very very basic level and by what I mean um, upgrade your squad members you can upgrade their skills uh, like for example you've got one who's like a medic so you can upgrade that skill you've got another one with grenades you can upgrade that skill very very basic stuff is what I'm saying here um, and it's the same with the weapons you know um, you can upgrade uh, weapons for someone so they can get you can, you've got a primary weapon and a secondary weapon and you can you've got sometimes find the secondary weapon and then you can upgrade your primary and the secondary and also upgrade the army that uh, the army the armor that your squad members wear to increase their defenses and things very very basic stuff um, so you make you move your way around this map you go to the next level you go on there you do what you need to do with these aliens shoot them um, and the missions vary from rescuing people to going to a computer to getting data um, all that kind of stuff and then you get to the exit and you leave something that this game doesn't do particularly well it doesn't necessarily explain the rules particularly well for each level um, and a couple of times I have um, I've played it and one of my squad members may have died uh, but the level continues and I've managed to get through the level um, and then another time one of my squad members dies and then that's it that level's over you've got to restart it from the beginning um, and I couldn't really understand why that it could have been my fault I didn't read um, the rules going into this level but I don't, I don't, it doesn't explain it well I don't think it d explains it well at all um, so you get this really very familiar gameplay loop here um, and basic and it doesn't really up the ante, it doesn't really increase the difficulty to such a point where it becomes a real challenge, the only challenge is the gameplay loop itself and um, like I say it doesn't explain itself particularly well um, you do get some varied enemies here and there, you get your basic grunts that you know if they if they get close enough to you they'll they'll swipe at you and hurt you, you've got other ones with weapons, you've got these big tank like ones, you've got to manoeuvre yourself around the back of them and shoot them from behind where their weakness is um, there's various ways you can do this as well. You can um, you can kick uh, like explosive barrels 
and blow them up to take out more than one enemy or to block uh, like a hole in the ground that will stop um, more enemies coming through which will make it easier for you to make, get through the level um, and it's it doesn't really get any more complex than that really yes you know you, the, the the level design is interesting enough sometimes it's just basic levels and other times you've got these platforms that if there's too many people on these platforms they'll collapse so you've got to try and outthink your enemies and maybe kick um, like barrels and things onto these platforms so that it sinks your enemies so you don't even have to waste a bullet on them um, you don't have an awful lot of bullets in your weapons I would say you've got to kind of find reload stations on these levels um, just seems a bit odd that you would go into battle with a gun that's only got like four bullets in it um, and that early in early gameplay you don't have a secondary weapon so if you don't get a reload point you that soldier is basically useless for the rest of the level um, so it has pros and it has cons this game but for a game for 1599 um, you can't really expect much more than what this game gives you I think it's a competent clone of an XCOM game um, it's very child friendly I would suggest there's there's no bad language to speak of it's very easy to pick up especially if you're familiar with these types of games um, and it's it's a game I can I suppose I can recommend especially if it falls in a sale this game I mean if this if, if this game got it right now it's 15.99 in the UK I would imagine in a month or two this you'll be able to pick this up for six seven quick pounds so um, it's definitely worth picking up especially if you're a fan of XCOM type games which I am um, and put it this way I'm enjoying this more than the uh, Narcos Rise of the Cartels for example which had bigger pro production design behind it which was a disaster this is more fun than that I'm gonna give it a six out of ten fairly basic stuff but certainly reasonably playable for the price so i hope you enjoyed this review and i hope you found it useful thank you very much for watching